Welcome to Get Moving TV. I'm Dr. Chris Landon and I serve as your host. Here in Ventura County, we have some extraordinary venues for music. We have some extraordinary people uh, doing things, going out of our country to help other people. Uh, and right here, uh, we have groups working to, to really help the farm workers lead a better life. But just starting with my first guest, Mark, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. So Mark, uh, live in Ohio, and there's several restaurants out there. And I got told, you need to go down to the Vine and check out this guy. Uh, and so we started to talk after, and he's got such a unique voice. I, I hope that you're, you'll go to his website and hear uh, some of the songs there. We'll, we'll see if we can get little snippets in. Uh, what brought you to California? You've been here for quite a long time. I we got here four months ago. My wife's family has lived here for 50 years in Ohio, and uh, we have been kind of preparing the last few years to make a trek out here and to kind of change life to help out the folks and uh, just to do business out here too. Welcome to Ohio. Uh, Thank you. And welcome it's to beautiful. That, it's definitely yeah. beautiful out here. And welcome to that that part of your life there. Well, uh, down at the Vine, you, you do something uh, uh, pretty un well, whatever. Uh, you do it very well. Thank uh, you. So, what is it that you do so everyone else knows? Well, I come from a pretty extensive production and music background. Um, and after having myself interviewed over 150 kind of B-level musicians, um, I kind of came full circle to where I felt like what people really want to hear in the more quaint uh, situations, such as restaurants and wine bars and that kind of thing, is they just want to hear songs that are familiar to them. And so for the last couple, more than a couple of years, maybe the last five years, I've you know just kind of stockpiled several hundred just great cover songs that people know, and I just kind of try to put my own spin on it. And I try to provide it more like a service than a look at me, I'm doing a show. Just it's more kind of there in the corner, just like a jukebox, more like. You reinterpret things, and uh, what's always remarkable about a good performer is you bring your heart with it every time. It's not just, you know, here's some more chords, and I'm a singer-songwriter, because uh, I just take pencils and put them in my eyes around <laughs> those guys. And since I'm married to one, thanks, Robin, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you, you really bring bring it, and you, you, you bring out things in that song uh, uh, that maybe weren't there uh, there before. I, uh, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm pretty quiet in life normally, and so I think everything comes out in those moments of doing songs. I hold back everywhere else in life and just let it out in song. <laughs> well, here we're, we have all these kids. Some of some of them have gotten a little off track, and this program uh, puts them on track and uh, gives them the ability to express themselves, but gives them the tools. Uh, and you are uh, uh, a guitar player, uh, which my wife is a very good guitar player and comes to watch you. So how did you pick up that particular skill? Were you hiding out in Muscle Shoals with alligators? <laughs> and uh, where, where did that come just, from? I think that's the time, I guess. I mean, I started when I was nine years old, and I'm 54 now, and I've never stopped playing. Well, when we watch something like The Voice, you know, we're looking for that uh, that uh, One Direction band, and you know, it's it is it's a it's a different part of of how you perform. You bring your life with you. You're not a pretty little boy face there and uh, <laughs> uh, trying to make the high harmonies before puberty hits there. Uh, you really bring that, that expression. Well, you were talking earlier too, just uh, you've interviewed how many people and in what capacity? We produced a feature called Spotlight On that uh, aired on ABC affiliates in different uh, small markets there in the south in Arkansas and Nashville and Tulsa and then we did one run with the Ovation Network and uh, we just taped a lot of touring level more songwriters at the time we were doing it, it was around 2000 to 2010 there were a lot of singer songwriters through that genre so it is more singer songwriter style although we did tape a few bands um, but it was in a format just like this just in a little small studio and just interviewed them and talked about their life and caught a couple of songs, you know, and, and then packaged it up and broadcast it. Of course, I'm, I'm going to hope that uh, you can do that here in Ventura. We've got a number of bands here that B-level, A-level, people who are retired here uh, uh, at our local little uh, 
uh, Deer Lodge, I saw Dave Mason. He's in cargo shorts and flip-flops, and I don't think half the crowd knew who he was. They're talking and drinking through it, and they just go, uh, so, so are you, are you going to maybe try and put a little feature spotlight here, or you take the Southwest? Well, or? believe it or not, from that project, we learned a little something from that on how to expand it, and that's when we came up with the, the deal that we're doing now, which is called My Town Rocks TV. Um, we're, you know, expanding it to more of a website platform where when we get the features built, it'll be more uh, accessible, obviously, through mm -hmm. online. Um, but we're taking higher, these same level type artists and doing a feature on the town that they're from instead of like well, before we were catching them and they would tell us all about where they're from and what they do and all this. And now we're actually going to put together a handful of features where we go to different towns and 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 have these artists host uh, some you know information about their where they're from and what what's cool about their town my town rocks tv <laughs> hope to have you come back in a month or so and hear this has been funded what, what's that funding trail like I and mean, we'll <laughs> see indiegogo and all that and yeah man, this I'm we not, started let's yeah. put it this way we started before youtube really even started hitting big when we first started the spotlight on project um, and of course, in, you know all the Indiegogo and GoFundMe and all that stuff is launched in the last five and ten years. I mean, back when we were doing it, it's first of all we just put a, an enormous amount of personal money in it to kind of get it started, which you kind of have to do. And then we do like everybody else, keep other jobs and a lot of other income coming in to fund it. And uh, all I can say, it has been an unbelievable journey after working for a production company who produces for ESPN for now 35 years. I worked there 25 years, and then after I left working there to start my own project, it was like night and day. You know, I spent the first part of my life learning how to be creative, produce, deliver, all through this system. Then I spent this last 15 years going, oh my gosh, you gotta get money first. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, besides the this project and the next uh, 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 project you have going on. How, how far up and down the coast do you go in terms of performing? Well, I do once a month down at uh, Santa, or at uh, Paula Casino, which is down there in San Diego, actually crosses the line into San Diego County. Uh, so from Ojai down to San Diego, and I'm kind of, I'm okay with that. Uh, <laughs> well, that sounds, that sounds good to me. So we want to keep you performing, want to have you come back in about a month with that successful project. And yeah. I'd love to tell you about it when we get our hands in it right. right. <laughs> We're close. We do, we do have a lot of good people that are getting involved, and it, uh, we should be able to, we should get there. All right. Well, thank you so much for, for taking your time today to come on the show, and uh, again, we hope to hear that, that success. So, Ventura, we're going to be right back. <laughs> 